Oh, I just came back from a trip. Let's answer some of those questions. I, I can't do it in this. Bam. Wait, it already looks like I worked out. Well, moving on. Hey guys, welcome back to part two for the Inspire FTX. I'm on Costco's website right now to see if I can find if that deal hit. Come on, load, baby. All right, what we got? Oh, okay, no. All right, so it's still 2499.9, um, but the FTX is still, it's got $300 off. That's actually a really good steal right there. Just FYI. All right, let's uh, talk about the machine. Welcome back to my hoarder garage. I'm gonna get all this crap out of the way so I can answer some questions and show you some good video. Hey guys, thank you. Uh, welcome back, John the Pilot, part two on the Inspire uh, SF3. Uh, you, you do have to become creative with this piece of equipment because it doesn't come with everything. Obviously for the price point, and real quick, I'm just gonna show you, I've got very limited space, so I had to be creative. Here's my whole garage. And this is the only space that I really have for any type of working out. There's my treadmill, here's my SF3, and I got some adjustable power blocks there. First question I got was from Mr. Uh, Steve Rappos, and he was talking about squats, how you do them versus deadlifts. Well, first thing is I've already set up the Smith machine bar. It's got 40 pounds on it. Remember when you're moving it and you rotate it downwards, you don't feel any weight, okay? There's no weight associated with anything that's attached. So I get under the bar, I rotate it towards, I come down to where I need to be, and then I just unlock it, and I get set up for my squat position. So as flexible as you are, and as low as you can go, is probably what you can do from it there. So I hope that answers. This has actually been pretty easy, and I also have protection just in case it gets too heavy. Uh, second question from Mr. Steve was deadlifts. Same thing, bring the bar all the way down, as you're as you're you're rotating and bringing the bar down, the only weight you deal with is the actual the mounts for the pulleys and the Smith bar itself. Now that it's on the ground, just get myself all set up. It's not like exactly where like on a deadlift where it's going to be free because you're on a Smith machine, but it works for me. It's just a way to get the workout done. From here, here, grab, pull, lift, and I come up. It's actually pretty awesome. Plus, you got the weight doubler effect for your. Uh, for any type of deadlifts, so it's really good. A Rose 1971 or 21, I'm not 100% sure. I really love the idea. They brought up the comment that you could put two by fours underneath the machine. And when you put the two by fours on the machine, you can stack them and you can gain the elevation from the two by four to raise it up higher. For me, it won't work because of where the machine is placed. I have limited ceiling height because of my safe rack here. But for anybody who's contemplating it and is a little bit taller than 5'9", 5'10", that's an outstanding way to add uh, height to your machine. A rose, way to think, I love it. One thing I haven't done yet is I haven't really used this bench. Man, this bench is heavy duty. It weighs probably 45, maybe 50 pounds. That's outstanding. So the cool thing about this bench is it comes with wheels. Great for mobility and to move it around fast. The other thing I like about it too um, is I'm going to try to get it in a position here and I'm going to show what I've come up with when it comes to kind of something to compensate from a lap pull down exercise. All right, that is real simple. We're going to get the rest up. There's this latch right here. All you have to do is let it rest, pull up on it, and the machine will automatically move and lock in any position of your choice. Or the machine, the bench, excuse me. So there you go. They're straight for some shoulder presses. Or 90 degree. There's a little bit more of a incline slash decline. There's a really good incline. And we'll get it set where it's pretty straight, but it's not 100% straight because I think it's ergonomics for your back, and I actually like that. Here's a close-up of those wheels. They're pretty heavy duty, so that's awesome for mobility. My other bench that I have, which is very sturdy, does not have those wheels, so that's an awesome added plus. Alrighty, I'm pulling off these hand cables. Make sure I get the carabiner, because you're gonna need the carabiner for any other attachments. You're gonna be using the strap. One carabiner, another carabiner. Voila, got this set up. 
Okay, what I've done is I've set up the bench as flat to use it as a stepping stool. I've put the weight strap across the both pulley sides attachments. Try it on the 22 setting on both sides for my height. I do have nine selected on each weight stack. And then what I'll use it as is a helper for the pull-up bars. So let's see, if it, see how it uh, turns out. Put it on 31 on each side. There we go. See if I can compensate. All right, down here. Oh, yeah. All right, up. Oh. That is actually pretty cool. That works really well. That can really help with uh, weight assisted pull ups. Dang, man. Heck <laughs> yeah. So, you don't have a lap machine? You got the pull up bars? You could use a strap. And there's another thing that I do that help, helps work out my back muscles. I'll show you. I just thought of another idea. So my, my feet were hitting the floor when I would put them on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my knees to see how that works so I can get more up and down capability. I'll bring that just a touch closer. All right, I'm going to try to use my knees. Okay, I've got the weight bench I'm using to step on. I'm going to put my knees right here. I'm going to grab the pull-up bar. I'm going to see how this works out. I am not a personal trainer, nor a stuntman. Please use caution when you're trying to do this. All right? If you're at home by yourself, caution, caution, caution. All right, goes my knees. Oh, now I got a good stretch. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. So even this, I would probably raise the pulleys just a little bit higher. Oh, this is great. Man, I got a full... Wow. That's actually really impressive. That's awesome. Do you guys remember the Gravitron? Let me see if I can find a picture. I'll pop it here. I love that piece of equipment. It used air or it had that counterbalance weight system so you could do a massive amount of pull-ups. This is pretty close to that. It doesn't feel the same, but you know, for $2,500 or if you get it $500 off at Costco, that's a pretty good deal. Oh, I already commented for Jay Kelly uh, about how far the machine pops back with the bench. I'm just gonna go ahead and show what it looks like. You know, you're gonna have to play with where you wanna put the bench and you'll get better and better for yourself and how you wanna do things. But for me, let's see, if I wanna use a Smith bar, right about here is pretty good. Maybe even a little further forward. Hopefully that gives you a good idea. You see the back to the front. All right, I got a tape measure. I got it all the way from the back of my wall, kind of all the way to there. And let me see. But we are just past 60 inches, 60 inches. And obviously your feet got to come out a little bit, but that's pretty much the full setup. So, hey, I just want to say thank you so much for all the likes and the comments. Uh, I appreciate the subscribers who joined on. And uh, once again, I'm not, uh, sponsored by Costco or Red Spire. I just thought this thing was one heck of a deal for the space and the money and what you get. So I just like passing that information forward. Plus, you can't see this thing anywhere in stores. I've tried to look for it. So I took a risk when I bought it. Hopefully this gives you an informed amount, an informed amount of information if you decide to purchase it. One thing I wanted to point out, um, the customer service with Inspire is pretty spot on. They give you Two of these vials for the grease that goes on the chrome guides for each of the weight stacks. Well, I used every little bit of that grease and I emailed them. They sent me one for free to have as a backup. I thought that was pretty cool. Plus, they also gave me a recommendation of the Super Lube, which also works on my treadmill and is a multi-purpose synthetic grease to keep the machine under maintenance. Uh, my SF3 is in the garage, so I do expect it to slowly kind of pick up some rust here and there. I got to deal with it because I don't have any other place to put it, but this should help with the problem. So I want to say thank you to Inspire for giving me those tips. I just want to throw, you, throw that your way.